Hello everyone, today I am going to create this stud wall in Revit. These type of walls are one of the most commonly used walls in the interior design projects. I wish Revit would come with its own command to create a stud wall but before that you can use the following technique to create these walls in your projects. Before we start with the tutorial, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. Go to the wall command and select store front from this dialog box. Now place this, uh, this storefront walls, curtain wall on the floor plan according to the dimensions. So I have placed it like this. Now select all three of them. And then click on edit type to open this dialog box. From here you can change its settings, its dimensions and everything. And keep the curtain panel as none and from here you can change the vertical uh, the sizes of the vertical grid and the horizontal grid you can either keep the fixed distance or a fixed number of uh, mullions for this uh, the mullions uh, which are shown here uh, will be are going to be the studs basically the uh, framework of our wall so you can enter a different number of uh, um, um, different number of, of uh, vertical and horizontal mullions in this framework according to the design and according to the standards You can also connect it to level 2 as in the case of a normal wall. You can also reduce the dimensions to create a metallic type of framework like this. For now, let's keep the dimensions as 4 feet by 7 feet. You can also change the profile of the mullions by, uh, by working in the uh, profile mullion family template file but uh, for now it comes with these following type of profiles i am going to keep this rectangular mullion which is 2.5 inches in width and 5 inches in depth i will create an other tutorial for the profile of the mullions for now let's change it to this 2.5 inches circular mullion and click OK and now you can see that these mullions have changed their profile. But let's keep those rectangular profile of 2.5 by 5 inches. Now it comes with a glass panel in between. Select all of them as shown and then click on edit type to open this dialog box and from here you can change its material you can change its thickness you can change its position and all of that uh, for example if it is going to be a if it is a, going to be an acoustic wall and you want to place some type of material within this framework you can change it the material from this dialog box for now let's keep it empty
now select all of these uh, framework mullions and then click on edit type and from here you can change the settings the dimensions of these uh, let's keep the material as a lumber wood and let's change the dimensions as 4 inches in depth and 1.5 inches on either side making it a total of 3 inches width and now it has changed its dimensions as well now if you don't need a door within the partition wall you can simply use the wall command to create uh, to place the boards on either side of this third wall for that select this wall command and from here select any type of wall let's say generic 8 click on edit type make a duplicate of it and name it like I'm going to name it gypsum wall board click OK then click on edit then from here change the thickness let's say half inches and change and uh, add a material here let's say gypsum wall board ok click ok and then uh, place the place these uh, material walls on either side of the stud wall while uh, uh, presenting your project and work on a sheet or either in a presentation you can lower the uh, transparency of these walls so that the partition walls are a little bit visible from behind as shown so that it is easily visible that which of the walls are partition walls now make a copy of this stud wall uh, delete the gypsum wall board walls which i have just created and keep the stud wall now using this wall opening command create an opening within this framework at where you want to place the door adjust the width and height of this opening as shown in the video Now it has placed these two extra frames, unpin them and delete. Similarly select it 
unpin it and delete it. Now go to level 1, go to architecture tab, click on model in place, select walls from this dialog box, click OK and select extrusion and draw a profile for the extrusion as shown in the video. Apply the material of wall board to this uh, extrusion of 10 feet. Now I want to get, uh, I want to keep these walls empty from the middle. For that, uh, select void extrusion and draw the profile for the void extrusion as shown. You can see that I have not uh, applied the void extrusion where I need to place the door. Then go to this nor uh, front view of the 3D. Again select void extrusion. Set the reference plane to this surface and then draw the profile like this. Now this void extrusion is going to be where uh, to be uh, above the door. The wall is now complete. Click on uh, finish model. Now I need to place the door. For that simply go to level 1. Select the door command from the architecture tab. And let's change the dimensions which I have kept as 3 feet uh, 6 inches. Click OK and then place at its position. So that's the reason I have not created a void extrusion because it automatically negate that. 
so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe